RSNA, we ran into Bill Faulkner. Bill, if you would, just tell us what you're most excited about this year. Well, you know, number one, being back in a live meeting, you know, kind of the virtual thing last year was kind of underwhelming. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'm... Uh, I'm really interested to look at a lot of the uh, artificial intelligence from a re image recon standpoint. I've been seeing a lot of uh, things online uh, about, and you know, all the vendors have it, and I mean, massively reduced scan times, uh, you know, one minute less, and very, you know, very good signal to noise, uh, but because of the way the reconstruction processes work. But anyway, so I'm interested in seeing that. There's several of the vendors that have newer magnet technologies um, that use an extremely low amount of helium, self-contained, so there's no, uh, you know, they'll say helium-free, but it's got helium in it, you know, but you, it, it's, it's, you, there's no quench pipe, you know, if everything goes right, you don't have to top it off, or it's apparently just new technology and how it's constructed. So I'm really kind of curious to see that. Uh, Siemens has come out with a 0.55 uh, larger bore. I think it's like 80 centimeters. But uh, one of the interesting things about 0.55 or you know, lower field is that uh, they've been showing some really nice lung imaging uh, because you don't get the susceptibility that you do at the higher fields. And then with the artificial recon, you know, that kind of offsets that. Um, there's, uh, you know, the portable uh, bedside, whatever. They've been here before. They were here a couple of years ago when it was first introduced. But I was just curious to see, you know, what's changed with that. And uh, those are kind of the top things on it. I'm sure there's something else, but I can't think of it, but it's in my notes. <laughs> I'm pretty curious about the portable MRI myself. Um, it it being our first year at RSNA, what what advice would you give us on how to take in it? All in? Oh, well, what I would do is I would just simply start down one side and just go down the aisle and up the aisle, down the aisle, up the aisle. Uh, there's a lot of uh, smaller companies uh, typically on the sides there. Um, you know, obviously there's a lot of radiology stuff like aprons and crap like that, but... Um, you know, there's all kinds of just just go up and down, just up and down the aisles. I would take one day and do one side, and the other day and do another side. And then there's there's also over on the lake side, like that's where they used to have it. I got to look at that one morning. They have all the, the posters, and that's kind of neat to walk through and look and see what's uh, you know being fresh published the posters. I kind of like to look at those. Exciting. We're excited. Uh, we just randomly ran into him, hoping to have dinner with him as well while we're in town. <laughs> I was looking for a place to sit down and have coffee, and then this happened. Right? <laughs> uh, well, thank you, Bill, for having a quick chat with us, and uh, we'll hope to have dinner one of these nights. All right. Who I ran into, <laughs> Tobias Gil, Toby. Thank you for joining us. Zone Three Podcast, our first RSNA. Yeah, hopefully uh, first of many. Yeah, definitely. But probably, I'm guessing, not your first. No, no. Uh, what number is this for you? I was actually I was trying to figure that out. Um, I'm more than ten, but less than twenty. So, okay. okay. I, I think it's I'm a good range. Yeah, I think I'm 
probably around 13 or 14 is probably where I'm at. And I would imagine each year there are certain things that excite you more than other years. For 2021, what's, what do you find probably most exciting? What, um, well, obviously I come at this from sort of an MRI safety standpoint. Yeah. Um, and the thing that I find most interesting, most exciting is sort of the, the increasing diversification of MRI products. Um, now, not all of them are brand new, like the, the portable, the hyperfine, you know, the swoop. Um, I'm very curious about that as well. MRI. Um, there's also, there's a neonatal, a uh, purpose-built neonatal MRI um, from Aspect, which is really interesting. Um, both of those, the, the Hyperfine and the Aspect um, MRI are really interesting because a lot of the things that we just sort of took for granted as being always problems or always safety concerns with MRI um, aren't with those products um, or are but in, in greatly reduced ways. Um, so I think those are really interesting. Um, uh, the Siemens Siemens has the new 0.55 product, uh, 0.55T, which isn't official. It doesn't have FDA approval just yet. Um, but I think that also is going to be sort of broadening the scope of, of MRI and MRI safety concerns. Um, it's just going to it's going to demand more of us, you know, in terms of frontline uh, figuring out how do we. How do we provide MRI safely with a greater diversity of MRI products, different field strengths, different configurations, different clinical applications? Um, so I think just the understanding that there is a wide spectrum of products out there helps to understand and to progress MRI safety, I think, I mean, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, it, well, look no further than MR conditional labeling, right? So if we, if we built our whole world around MR conditional labeling, the world would be 80% 1.5Ts and 20% 3Ts, you know, and that's it. Um, so I think, I think a lot of, a lot of forces in the MRI world kind of force us to the middle, kind of push us towards the, the most frequently occurring magnets, the most frequently occurring exams. Um, and it's really helpful to every once in a while go, well, yeah, those are the most frequently occurring magnets or exams, but our world needs to be wider than that. We need to look at the full range of MRI products and MRI clinical applications and the patient cohorts that those clinical applications are you know, suitable for. Um, and I think that for me is the, is the most interesting thing about this time in, in radiology, this time in MRI. We really need to kind of broaden our focus um, and think about safety in a, more, in a more holistic way that allows us to, to deal with these outliers, the, these new systems that are kind of challenging our preconceived notions. Yeah, absolutely. And what better man? Tobias Kilp, thank you, Toby. My pleasure. Uh, sounds like we're excited about a lot of the same things, um, especially that portable. I'm definitely curious about it. Um, love to do dinner, but you're only in town for one night, so too <laughs> bad, but thanks that we got you for the, for a few minutes. Well, I'll take Appreciate a rain check. Time. We'll do it another time. And uh, it, real quick, if you don't mind, we'll just have you turn around for the camera so everybody can see your... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's red. Yeah. I miss you guys. <laughs> uh, Toby, would you mind just turning around for the camera so they can see your jacket? Oh, yeah. So. Zone 3 Podcast, R RSNA 2021, we're out. <laughs> okay, you ready? Yeah. Well, Zone 3 Podcast 2021, RSNA, yes. day one. Day one. It's day one. Up. This is the wrap-up for day one. I'm already exhausted. <laughs> I mean, mostly you're just going to get a lot of time loops for day one. I mean, we're going to do most of our interviews day two, so we're going to go around. You guys are going to get a little bit more of an experience of RSNA. Uh, through the vendors, definitely tomorrow. So. Definitely yeah, stay tuned. A bit overwhelming it today. Uh, we mostly just scouted it out to form a game plan for the rest of the week. Right. Uh, and we're saying overwhelming, and it was like not even a quarter of the people who's normally here. So. Yeah. Well, it wasn't just the amount of people was overwhelming. It was just the amount of, that was out there to see. Oh, There's yeah. tons of booths, oh, and we only so saw much. a fraction of it. Right. So uh, yeah, another game plan is to check out more of those booths, yeah. talk to more people uh, the rest of the week. Uh, what was your biggest takeaway day one? Uh, biggest takeaway is, man, the Siemens booth is huge. I mean, it's two stores. So unless they're just puffing their chests out, 
I can't wait to see what they got. A little of that, but they do have big chests, so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I mean that in the most PC way. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> for sure, we're for sure we're editing that out. No, we're leaving it in. We're leaving it in. We're leaving, we're leaving it, it in. Um, uh, I would say my biggest takeaway, yeah. which just other than the size of it all, and we were warned about it before, uh, you know, would just be um, just the overwhelming amount of uh, space it takes up too, right? Like, yeah, for sure. There's levels to it. There's yeah. levels to this. I can see why it's a week-long event. It would take a week to see everything and then some. Um, right. But we hmm. haven't got a chance to see any really presentations yet. Uh, we're really trying to work that out because we got an exhibitor badge, so we're here as an exhibitor per se. So it might make things a little bit more difficult when it comes to getting into the presentations, but we'll see what we can get. We got three more days here, so you know, expect some something good. Some, it got to be something good out of the three days that we'll bring you guys. <laughs> and as big as this place is, surprisingly, we ran into a few people we know. Oh yeah, you seen Canal a couple of times. Saw him. A few I know times. we had an interview with Toby. You guys will probably see. Uh, 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 interview with Faulkner. Yeah, Bill. Yeah. Bill was out here. Uh, you know, I want to go ahead and give a quick shout out to, uh, you know, our MRI family back home. And then, and then that was, you know, <laughs> VIP, you know what I'm talking about. Chavez. <laughs> you know, yes. we appreciate you guys. And especially all our, our teammates out there that are working so hard while we're on vacation. So, yo, know, we appreciate you guys. We miss you guys. And, uh, yo. Know, we're representing you. We're you know, we, yes. we want to, you know, bring the knowledge out to the technologists. Let us see what's going on, what's, what's coming new, right? So stay tuned for the rest of the week. Exactly. So that's uh, day one, RSNA, Zone 3 podcast. We're uh, out. We're out. <laughs>